Go into your working folder and open up fishy.ai one more time. We've used this previously in this lesson or in this chapter. What I want to do now is show you something that I really use a lot once I got used to using it. Now see, to me, this is all about habits. We all have bad habits. I'm not going to tell you my bad habits, but I have a few. And we have good habits. So I could just spend all day telling you about my good habits. To me, in Illustrator, it's about using something enough to develop it into a habit. And this is actually a really good one. It's views, changing view. Let me show you something. Let me pick up my zoom tool. We got these four fish on the screen. We've got two angel fish. Uh, I don't know what that is. And that, I think, is, I don't know what that is either. Anyway, I'm going to zoom in on this guy right here. Now, in the course of what I'm doing in terms of my work, I go to this view a lot and work on that part of the image. I don't want to have to use my zoom tool to constantly do that. So, I go up to the word view on the pull down menu and go all the way down to new view. Now, we'll call this one angel one. Click OK. Now, I'll double click on my hand tool to take it back down to a manageable size and zoom in again on this guy. And this time, I'm going to change the view first to outline. Okay. And then we'll go into view again and go down to new view. And we'll call this angel one outline. Now, the reason I'm doing that is just to prove a point, is anything you do to the view can be incorporated into what we're doing right now. So let's double click one more time on the hand tool and let's go back into a regular view, preview, and zoom in one more time maybe on this guy. And one more. because I really don't have a clue what that is. I'm not a fish person. Click OK. I like them when I'm eating them. Let me go ahead and double click on the hand tool. Now I want to get to those views as I am working and designing. So think about it that way. You have a complicated, and ours isn't complicated, but you have a complicated Illustrator document and you're going to different areas or you realize there's an area you're going to need to work on so you make these views. You come back to the word view and go all the way down and there they are. So we can go angel one outline, take your right there. We can go back to say to my fish question mark right here. If we go back to the word view and go into edit, we can well delete them or rename them if we want to. If we decide we don't want outline, we can select it. We can rename it or we can say nah, don't want it. To me, it was a habit that I developed. But once I began using them, to me, I found this, and it's just me, everybody works differently, but I found it a valuable thing to be able to change that view quickly to get where I want to go.